So hi guys, today we're going to have a look at the Pathfinder Beginner Box. Now this is the set designed for starting out and beginning to play Pathfinder. So if you guys are Pathfinder players already, you probably know what's in this box already, or at least have it in the main rulebook and, uh, and all the other books. But let's just have a look and see what sort of things you get if you want to start out playing. Um, first of all, of course, there's the all-important bag of dice that you get in the box. Uh, there's a couple of bits of advertising, of course, for the various books and just telling you what's in, basically what's in the box. All printed on a very, very nice paper, I have to add. Um, there's those. Then, of course, we have our Hero's Handbook, which is effectively the, the player's guide for the, the starter, uh, starter book. Um, it goes through a few sort of choose-your-own-adventure uh, type situations where you can uh, get, get Get your head around the rules and how the, the whole system works. Um, after that, then there are uh, the basis of how to create four of the basic character classes. So, uh, if I understand it, there's a cleric, there's the fighter, uh, wizard, and the rogue are in the book. Um, and they go up to level four, as I understand it. So, uh, the all the rules you need to play any of those character classes are in the rules, but they'll only take up to level four. Um, other than that, there's uh, descriptions on all the skills, some of the weapons, and just some of the, the really cool things that, ha that happen in Pathfinder. Um, a number of nice points in the book, I have to say. It's all in fantastic, the glorious color, and it's all in really good, uh, really good paper, as well as being sort of high quality and easy to read because you know the last thing you want when you're starting out the game is to be plunged straight into the, the, the full extent of the rules. This leads you through it nicely. It's got uh, you know a good a good learning curve to it. Um, it's all reasonably straightforward stuff. Um, this is the, the Games Master's Guide which will take you through running one of the adventures um, and how to basically set up uh, your own little bits of adventure as well. It has monsters in it. It has uh, some cool little dungeons and things. Um, all, again, designed around the, the beginning gamer. So uh, it, everything is explained. Um, magic items are explained, how these things work. Um, there's a little bit of a, of a monster uh, guide in there as well. Um, so you can have some extra monsters to throw at your at your players, um, but again, designed for someone who's starting out, so it's all um, very basic and there's not a huge amount of uh, heavy detail in it anyway. Um, it's all more, this is easy, here's a load of goblins, here's how we play. And speaking of here's how we play, here's uh, some of the uh, pre-generated characters. So we've got a pre-generated fighter, pre-generated rogue, pre-generated wizard, and cleric. So. All those coming are in the book, or in the box, sorry. Uh, we also have some blank character sheets for making uh, your own characters. And they're nice gate folds as well, so, you know, there's plenty of, there's, actually there's a good, good few character sheets in that. So there is, uh, the gate fold ones, sorry, are the, these pre-generated ones, so they come with uh, not only the outer outside, but also all the things you need to know inside about running the character. And it's, again, because it's designed around introductory games, everything you need to know about any of the characters is all on the character sheet. We have a really heavy duty map, which uh, unfolds with dungeons and just a, a standard hex map, or a standard squared map on the other side. I'll not unfold it because it's far too big for sitting in this little corner. Um, so that's what you move your uh, your little models around on in order to, to, to judge range and where everybody else is. Again, all explained in the in the books. But speaking of models, of course, you actually get some. Well, not models as such, but you get cardboard stand-ups. So here are the cardboard stand-ups that you get, all of which just... Uh, clipped out of the uh, the little sprues that they come on, little cardboard sprues. And not only that, of course, 
but you get little stands to uh, to plug them into so that you actually just plug them in and they stand up. So again, guys, plenty in the box, loads in it, in fact, uh, for starting a game. Again, it only goes up to level four, but the uh, Pathfinder rules are available online uh, for you to, to, to check out if you want to advance your characters before that, uh, to, sorry, above uh, level four. So that's all uh, free to access. Um, you don't need to have any of the books. You can just run it straight offline. Um, that's what you get. All to do with starting a game. If you're interested in it, guys, this is one to have a look at. So tell me about it. Do you fancy Pathfinder? If you fancy playing it, drop me some comments below and tell me about it.